channel so today I am so excited for this video I am gonna be showing you guys the Galentine's Day gifts that I'm getting my friends this year and I have never gotten my friends Galentine's Day gifts before I haven't really like celebrated Galentine's Day ever before normally I just like do like Valentine's Day thing but I thought that it would be like fun to show my gal pal some love this year so I'm gonna take you guys step by step through the process of how I made these Galentine's boxes also I would love to hear like what you guys think about Valentine's Day comment below if y'all have any like fun or funny like Valentine's Day stories or if you have a Valentine this year um, I would love to hear that. Also, I thought that it'd be fun if I like shared a fun Valentine's Day story. And so, I like, I mean like in elementary school obviously like I celebrated like Valentine's Day and like we did the thing where like all the kids get each other Valentine's and whatnot. Um, but when I was in, I guess this was high school, I think it was ninth grade, there was this guy at my school and I thought he was super cute and so I like, I was so bold y'all like I cannot believe I was this bold and if you know me you know like I'm not any less bold now like I'm still super bold but I was really bold back in ninth grade too and I literally was like I think I want to ask that guy to be my valentine like I don't even know what that means like what is it like you know what I mean is, is it like a one day like thing where you just like act like your boyfriend and girlfriend for one day whatever anyway uh, we're like in between switching classes I think if I remember correctly and I just like walk up to this dude and I'm like hey like will you be my valentine and I was like shook because like my parents have always taught me like there is either specifically my mom has always taught me that there are two answers there's yes and there's no and in the real world I guess there's maybe two but <clears throat> I guess I wasn't super scared because I was like well if he says no then okay and if he says yes then great <laughs> So he did say yes, and so I think I got him like a bear that I like sprayed my perfume on or something like that. I think he got me a balloon. Like I can't really remember what we got each other. I think maybe I got him some like chocolates or something like that. But it was, you know, like it was sweet and super like ninth grade. -y. But this video isn't about Valentine's, it's about Galentine's. So let's hop right in. So the first thing that I did is melted some milk chocolate so I can make these milk chocolate dipped pretzels and I just use Hershey's chocolate for this and I put it in this vase that I got from the dollar store just because it was easier to dip them this way and I made sure to spray some like non-stick spray on the pan before I put them down just to make sure that they wouldn't stick. So once they were done, which took about two hours, I gave them some extra time just to make sure that they were fully dry. Um, I melted some white chocolate and just used a fork to drizzle it over the pretzels and it really did not take that much chocolate. I think I used half of a bar for all of them and I did like three more plates like this. And I also mixed a little bit of red icing with some more white chocolate in this bowl right here because I did not have red food coloring and it worked just as well. It made this really pretty like millennial pink type color and I just drizzled that over top of the white chocolate. So 
So I let those dry overnight and then the next morning I got my bags ready. I actually got a lot of the products from this video from a local paper store, um, but this were just these cute little cellophane bags that had hearts on them and I put three pretzels in each. I tried to do like the middle pretzel, the one that had either like sprinkles or I did some with red icing on them so like the different one was in the middle and so I just did all the bags like that. So I actually cut the tops off of the bags before um, I started putting the pretzels in just because I wanted the pretzel ends to stick out and then realized I never bought string to tie the bags up with so I got creative and made these little strips of um, kind of like plastic and then I cut them to make them actually a strip not like a circle and then I just tied them around the bag. I would definitely suggest not doing this if you have the chance to get ribbon just because since it was cellophane on cellophane they all kind of slipped off by the time they were ready to be put in the boxes at the end so um, just a note to make sure that you get ribbon if you're going to be putting these in little cellophane bags or some type of a twist tie or something like that.
So once I was done with those, I moved on to my next little addition, which are these cute little wine bottles. They are mini wine bottles, and I customized the labels. So I made these labels on Canva. I just searched like mini wine bottle labels to get the right dimensions, and then I customized them. So mine say bubbles for babes, I think, and then at the bottom it says by Shirley, and I just cut all of these out and just used regular tape to tape them on the bottles. I didn't even take off the um, the original label that was under them. I literally just taped these over top of them. You can definitely get fancy with these and use like fancier paper. Um, you can also get cheaper wine. So I decided to splurge a little bit on this because the barefoot wine was actually like, I wanna say $13 for four. And there was another one that was like $7 for four, but I decided to get the nicer ones just because they had this little pink um, like wrapping at the top and I just thought that was perfect for Valentine's Day. And this was the finished product. I was so happy with these. So next, I decided to order champagne glasses and personalize them. I have recently been working on calligraphy because my mom got me this really cute calligraphy book for Christmas. And so I thought I would test out my new calligraphy skills by making these customized um, champagne glasses for my friends. They actually turned out really well. The only thing that I would suggest if you have like a bigger budget or more time is to find some type of like sealant to put over top of them. I just drew mine on so inevitably when my friends wash their glasses like unless they're super careful it's probably gonna wash right off so if you're watching this and you're one of my gal pals be careful sorry y'all um this is my first time making these but they looked really pretty And this is what they looked like when they were all done. So next I decided to write all of my friends handwritten letters and I wanted to write their name in calligraphy on the envelopes. Honestly, my calligraphy on the glasses was better than it was on the envelopes, which honestly makes no sense because the glasses are curved, but they um, definitely did look better on the glasses, but they still look okay here. Um, but I just made a personalized envelope for each of my friends. So in addition to the wine bottle labels, I also designed these cards in Canva. 
and then had them printed at CVS. And as you can see, some of them said, be my Galentine. And also I forgot to film the other ones, but they said, um, happy Galentine's Day. And I just kind of like tweaked one of their templates to make it my own and just stuffed the envelopes so that those were all ready. So next it was time to start getting the boxes ready um, and I got these from the same paper store that I got those cellophane bags from. I really don't know where I would recommend getting cute little pink boxes from other than maybe ordering off of Amazon or some like paper store online. I just kind of lucked out and was able to find these. They were super inexpensive, probably like a dollar or less per box, um, but I just put all seven of these together. part you've all been waiting for. I got everything ready and was able to stuff all of my boxes. So the first thing I did is get this like paper confetti stuffer. I don't know what it's actually called, but I just made kind of like a layer at the bottom of the box with that. And then next I put the glasses in and they actually fit perfectly, which was ideal. And then I put in the champagne bottle. And for the ones I was shipping, I actually put like bubble wrap in between those two things so that they wouldn't like clink and break one another. But then I put in the pretzels, which I just kind of had to like finesse and figure out a way. Like ultimately they were all able to fit, but they were both kind of like long. And then some of the boxes got earrings and some got socks. I had to like <laughs> pretend like I was asking for myself but I knew that some of my friends would not like earrings like that, so I sent them like um, a picture of the earring on Instagram. Was like, was this would this like look cute on me? And the ones that said yes, I sent them the earrings, and the ones that said no, I sent them the socks. Um, but then I just added the card in. So I also just wanted to give y'all kind of like a closer view of everything that went into the box. And also with these boxes this time around, I just sent them to some of my friends in North Carolina. Hopefully in the future for like different holidays, I'll be able to send um, gifts to some of my friends that are out of state and some of my other friends in North Carolina. It's just like as far as shipping costs went, they weren't super expensive, but I just kind of wanted to like keep costs low since I was making boxes for so many different people. So I just stuck to some of my friends that were in North Carolina and then um, just like people that I could deliver them to, which is like my mom, my aunt, and my sister. So these were all of the finished products. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I had so much fun making this, so I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And make sure to comment below if you decide to recreate any of these things. I would love to see y'all's creations. See y'all soon.